so hi uh, I don't know what time it is but you can see it down there or there I don't know um, I just came back from tennis training and um, cut to a clip <laughs> Now, I wanted to show you some of the books I got last week because I've got a package in the mail just now and um, I think I know what it is. I hope it is what I think it is. It could be a book for university which is boring but just one way to find out. So the books I got last week were basically all one author except for one. I just had this need to read everything by this author even though I gave both of her books three stars I think but it's just fluffy contemporary romance um, and that is Casey West so I got these three paperbacks they weren't available in hardcover so um, by your side the Fillin Boyfriend and On the Fence. And this one is newer, I think, so I can't, could get it in hardcover, and that is Love, Life and the List. I also pre ordered the two new releases from 2019, and I hope in this package there is the missing book. Um, what is it called? P.S. I Like You? I don't know. Um, yeah, the other book looks all right there. You can't see them. Anyway, I have read Listen to Your Heart and The Distance Between Us. Those two I have read. And, um, oh, the only book I also got was uh, Pulp, Poop, Pulp, Poop by Robin Tully, um, which I obviously also know nothing about. I just saw this on Bookstagram and Booktube and um, yeah so let's just see what's in here. Okay I got this book and it's in Italian. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, well, I had to send that back. Um, yeah. Way to go, me. 
Otherwise, I just have to get another paper bag. It's not like they are bad in any way. Yeah, they are floppy paper bags. I love those, so not a problem. <laughs> that was quite a discovery. I just realized that I didn't show you my TBR shelf yesterday with my TBR jar. Um, and yeah, it's also sorted by alphabet now. And um, four shelves with some spaces in between. And above I have all my Harry Potter merch. Tea, candles, and um, I still need to change this because it's the 15th of December, I think. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I just handled that to send that back because I can't read Italian. That was really mean because you were on this website and you typed in PS I like you English and then you got to the um, paperback. And uh, it said um, there was also a hardback. But if you clicked on the hardback, you came to the Italian edition. But I didn't check that because I already was on the paperback edition of the English edition. But that's so stupid that they even link that together. It's not my fault. Anyway, yesterday I got my owl crate and I just wanted to quickly show you what is inside. Um, I already know what's inside, but now I can tell you in detail and look at the spoilers and um, I will put a timestamp in somehow if I know how this works. Uh, the theme is Power of Illusions and this is the spoiler card. And uh, the first item here is a tote bag designed by Stella Bukish Art. Um, and inspired by Caraval and Legendary. And it says, gold shimmered no matter what, but few people could make darkness glitter the way he did. And the same on the other side. Next is this ornament here. So this ornament is from Juniper and Ivy Designs, inspired by the Crowns game. Ah, now. Imagine that it shall be, there are no limits. The crowns game. And now there is summer at the door. Another package. Um, I think I know what this is. This is a Christmas present for my grandma. I'm going to show you later because I still need to wrap some gifts, but anywho. The next item here is a candle that says the Luna Queen. And um, it is by Flick the Wick, inspired by Queen Levana from the Luna Chronicles. And it smells amazing. This is the first time I, I got a candle in a normal box that I love. The only candle I loved ever was in the Dreams and Nightmares box, the um, plum scented candle, but this is one of the only candles I like because most of the most of the um, smells I can't even smell and um, because of my asthma I have to cough. I probably would not only don't like the scent but also, you know, be short of breath but this one this one is the only one in the world I like so the smell is supposed to be blackberries vanilla and fresh greenery next item is a magnet from ink and wonder designs and it says we lead strange lives chasing our dreams around from place to place and it is inspired by the night circus then also we have got the monthly pin. And um, an excerpt from King of Fools. 
And the item most of the people were going to love is this Magical Monthly Reading Planner. It has a first page that is really cute and um, favorite books page. A monthly overview and a TB uh, a new release and monthly TBR. Then book reviews. And then the same thing over. And then at the back they there is a weekly planner. So it has every day and the to-do list and the reading list. So that is separate. The reading journal is separate from the normal planner. I don't know. I suppose this is going to be exactly one year. So 12 monthly pages and 52 weekly pages. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's It feels really... Um, high quality and um, has this this smooth paper and on the back there's a quote by Neil Gaiman it's a new year and with it comes a fresh opportunity to shape our world so this is my wish a wish for me as much as it is a wish for you in the world to come let us be brave let us walk into the dark without fear and step into the unknown with smiles on our faces even if we're faking them. And whatever happens to us, whatever we make, whatever we learn, let us take joy in it. We can find joy in the world if it's joy we're looking for. We can take joy in the act of, act of creation. So that is my wish for you and for my bravery and joy, Neil Gaiman. And this is, this is stunning. I want to use this, but I'm not sure. I mean, I have my reading journal anyway. But it's so cute. I might need to do this anyway. The reading planner is from Blue Star Press and I'll create and it's uh, exclusive. Yeah. And the book of the month. <sighs> the book of the month is Ember and Dusk and um, this is an exclusive cover, I think. Yeah, it's purple instead of gold and black. Yeah. So instead of a night background, we have a sunset and the color um, is changed to purple. And um, I have no clue what this is about. It has a letter from the author and it is signed. And oops. And um, it's also beautiful underneath. I don't know how the original cover looks underneath. So let's find out what it's about. It says, I wasn't running from the darkness at the edge of nowhere. I was running toward the light at the heart of the empire. Sylvie has always known she deserves more. Out in the permanent twilight of the dusk lands, the sisters and the scion taught her that the legacy, her power to create illusions was a curse. But Sylvie knows it entitles her to a place in Coer d'Or the palace of the Ember Empress and her highborn le legacies. And so Sylvie sets off toward the Ember City, a glittering jewel under the sun that never sets to take what is hers. But her hope for a better life at court is quickly dimmed. The Empress, Severine, invites her in only as part of a cruel wager among her beautiful and powerful courtiers. Sylvie must assume a new name, Mirage, and work to hone her magic. She begins to navigate secretive social circles and join deadly games of intrigue in order to claim her spot at court. And soon it becomes apparent that things are not as they appear. 
However, no one including her cruel yet captivating sponsor Sander will answer her questions. As Mirage strives to seize what should be her rightful place, she must consider whether it is worth the price she will have to pay. Lyra Celine waves a lush and dangerous story of sacrifice, secrets and Starcross love in this remarkably striking debut. Yeah. And on the back it says, I deserve the chance to find where I belong, to find a world forged in sunlight and honed on dreams. As perilous and intoxicating as the color spilling jewel bright from my fingertips. I'm still unsure what exactly her power is and what she can do and but I guess I'm going to find out if I'm going to read this soon. I'm not sure if I will. I have put it in my TBR jar anyway, of course, but we'll just see. So that is that for the hour crate. And I think this one was a really good one. The last one wasn't my taste and um, the skull I got was broken and um, yeah, it wasn't the best one. I love the book. I had already read the book, so that was a duplicate copy, but it's a beautiful um, copy. And um, yeah, now I can show you what I got my grandma. I got my grandma a puzzle of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is one of my favorite cities and I just thought this was beautiful. And um, yeah, I love to puzzle. My grandma loves to puzzle. I'm just going to wrap this up and then hopefully she will be happy about it. I also got a um, um, sort of um, Three hours later. A big, um, like, a thing where you can puzzle on and then um, you also have some things to sort. But you also can uh, close it and just carry it around. And, um, you know, if you don't want to puzzle all in one day. I mean, 1000 pieces aren't so hard. So I think I probably take about three days or something and um, yeah so this um, case or what it, whatever it's called um, I can just bring to her and spend some time with her and puzzle with her like we used to do in when I was little and um, yeah I hope it's going to be great so it's late I don't know what time it is but you can see as usual um, I'm probably making this way too long this vlog but I just have to learn um, I didn't read anything today I kind of failed miserably at that but I packed some gifts so I'll show you a clip of my gifts I already wrapped The big one in the back is this case I was talking about earlier. And I'm just going to give this to my grandma so that we can puzzle together and just quickly, um, you know, put it away so we can continue the next day and it's not always in the way. And I also took a quick clip of the tree. Um, it's been decorated and ready for a couple of days, but um, why not show you? It's almost Christmas and we can just be jolly together. <laughs> um. And I also had a little clip with my dog. Um, I was uh, just sitting here and he was going on my bed and he was really watching the TV. It was really like he was studying what was on the TV and I just had to make a short clip of that. What are you doing? 
Sammy. Mm. Do you want to watch TV? <laughs> There's nothing going on there. Do you want to watch dog TV? <laughs> what do you want? What about dogs? Or Benji? Or Bolt? success rate with all of our seizure alert dogs and so much of it depends on that match between the child and the dog yeah um but tomorrow i will probably not do anything interesting so i hope this is not going to be a lot longer and um hopefully i'm going to read now I was just uh, out grocery shopping today and uh, packing some gifts and um, I haven't done much more. But I've been uh, editing the footage I already have. That's why I know it's going to be long and I cut the tennis part a lot shorter, but I just have to see. 